Tori Tavalia. I'm a junior here at DC. I'll be a senior next year. Um, some of my extracurricular activities are varsity soccer. It's now my third year on the team. Varsity forensics, now my third year on the team. And I also coach a fifth and sixth grade girls soccer team. Uh, hopefully coaching the seventh and eighth grade girls next year. Um, love soccer, love coaching. Very excited to be coaching that. Um, some of my favorite subjects are math and sciences. Um, some facts about me is I come from a family of five. Two younger brothers, one that goes to the grade schools in third grade, and one that's a freshman here at DC. And my favorite movies are Finding Nemo and Finding Dory. Kind of childish, but those are my favorite movies. How I think I might impact Link Crew and make it better than it already is is probably just bringing more creative ideas into the mix. Just some activities, probably thinking of creative questions in ways that'll get people to open up and like talking more, making friends with the other freshmen. Um, I think I can connect with a lot of other different people from different areas. Probably because I'm in forensics, it's kind of public speaking. It's a team where it's more like theaterish. And then I'm also on soccer, which is kind of sporty. And I go to all the sporting events and I know a lot of the coaches. So I have like knowledge about sporting events. So it can help me to relate to both sides of the spectrum and kind of connect with maybe the more artsy people and also the more sporty people also a very open approachable person I kind of have like a loud like kind of peppy attitude very excited about things so and this is something I'd be really excited to do kind of getting our freshmen integrated into our school and I think that by being a friendly approachable person that'll be very helpful into getting these freshmen into our school and making them feel comfortable with everything. The challenge I did face in high school though was being just very unorganized, especially my freshman year, as most freshmen are very unorganized and just not really knowing how to organize your time and everything. And I literally would just have my papers just laying around everywhere, like no folders whatsoever. I learned that I actually need to use folders now. But um, a challenge I couldn't really control was my sophomore year. Um, it kind of was uh, during the end of third semester. And I got really, really sick. I got a life-threatening disease in my leg. And I think during that time was very, very hard for me. Um, especially just managing school and everything. Or dealing with what was happening to me. And... Once I was getting back, it was very surreal getting back into school and, like, just didn't feel real at all. But once I got back, I just, I had all this work to do and my doctors were telling me, you're not going to be able to play soccer again. You're not going to even be able to walk normally again. And I probably wasn't going to be able to do forensics ever again. And I probably wouldn't catch up on all the schoolwork I was piling up. But I think I said, am I going to either just stop and just not work at it? Or am I just going to go and be determined and finish it all? And that's what I did. So I just worked through it all, all of the things that was happening around me. I just, I worked through it all with all, everyone, my family and everything helped me. And I definitely now succeeded. Now I just tried out for the soccer team. I made the varsity team. Um... And I'm competing at states at forensics and I got all my work done and I'm doing very well in school now. So I think that just goes to show that I'm very determined and ready to bring kind of these values to other students at our school, especially the freshmen that need it the most. I can definitely bring problem solving values to them. And I really do admire though is Michelle Obama. Not only is she a very impactful first lady, but she's very intellectually and poised. She donates to so many charities advocating for women's rights and as a woman I really am intrigued by that. Also she advocates for healthy lifestyle living and I think that's a thing we really do need in our society today.